Building Ideas is proudly brought to you by the Master Builders Association. We got ideas. Building Ideas. A whole new direction. Building Ideas. It's time for change. Building Ideas. Dreaming is over. And welcome to the show. Now here's a name that you'll be familiar with, Alan Shepherd Constructions. It's a brand that's synonymous with high quality building and homes that are off the scale when it comes to grandeur and luxury. And today we thought we'd do something a little bit different. Rather than just show you one home, we thought we'd pop down, have a look back through the history of the homes that have been built by Alan and his talented team. And let me tell you, it was something that wasn't very easy to do because there's just so many to choose from. Over the past 40 years or so, Alan and his very talented team of employees have built thousands of homes. In fact, he was the first builder in Roxby Downs. Over the last nine years alone, the company has won 28 industry awards, including the very prestigious honour of being named Master Builder of the Year twice. What an absolutely amazing achievement that is. And it must be so satisfying knowing you've contributed to creating someone's dream home. I know that's certainly one aspect that keeps Alan's passion for the industry going. Alan Shepherd's ethos in relation to building is pretty straightforward. Honesty, integrity, of course passion and prowess. It's a combination of all of these things that makes Alan Shepherd Constructions a respected leader in the industry. Alan personally oversees every project that his team designs and builds and he always makes himself available for meetings with his clients. And that's because he cares, and I'm sure that's what sets him apart. Now, I'm at the head office of Alan Shepherd Constructions with Georgia working busily away there, and this is where you come to meet the team on Glen Osmond Road at Glen Osmond. They'll turn your dream home into a reality. Whether it's a Georgian mansion, a modern masterpiece, or a Hamptons Haven, Alan has built them all. And each home is meticulously constructed and finished to the highest of standards. Nothing is overlooked, and if any unforeseen issues arise, they're quickly dealt with and remedied, so building works can continue. There's nothing worse than a building project coming to a standstill halfway through, but rest assured that's not going to happen if you build with these guys. And as I mentioned earlier, I'm going to show you just a few of their standout homes throughout today's show. But first of all, this is what else we have on today's show. It's a busy one. I'm going to chat about gas appliance maintenance. Terry checks out a brand new app from Borrell that will enable you to visualise your next landscaping project more clearly. We'll chat about the exciting initiative that the Master Builders Association has established called HiViz. And we'll chat about the benefits of installing a natural gas dryer. So much to love about natural gas and natural gas appliances, but we'll get into that a little bit later. First of all, it's over to Terry who's chatting about another one of our favourite topics, apprentices in the building and construction industry. Thanks, Nicole. What's not to love about building apprenticeships? It's all good news when it comes to jobs for the young and when there is careers to be commenced. Today, I'm here at Tonsley TAFE and we're going to talk about that exactly, building apprenticeships. We're going to have a word with a couple of experts in the know. Well, it, actually, it's one expert and one apprentice, which technically makes him an expert in the making, maybe? Tonsley TAFE offers the most innovative and up-to-the-minute training facilities for building and construction apprentices. Today, we're looking at external finishes, namely plastering and rendering. There are so many different types and styles of rendering, and we, as homeowners, have a veritable feast of looks and finishes we can choose from. Someone who knows all about this is lecturer here at TAFE in solid plastering, Jared Murphy. Jared, what are some of the latest trends when it comes to external finishes? 
So the biggest push in the last probably five years has been a critic coat, a critic texture coat. Um, so it's a modified version of the traditional solid plastering. Uh, it's become very popular uh, probably because of the fact that it creates clean lines, very modern look. Um, that'd be one of the, the biggest trends that's, that's pushed through in the last couple of years. Jared, how are the techniques taught here at TAFE and what are the courses? Yeah, so we've got a couple of courses that focus on solid plastering, so the Cert 3 for solid plastering, and then the uh, doorways to construction would be a Cert 2, an entry level course uh, where we teach basic hand skills and then they develop further on in the Cert 3 program. So you're not only teaching just the modern stuff, obviously the traditional work as well. There is, there's a big demand still for the traditional restoration and then the, the push for lightweight products um, in the building industry has also made our trade change in terms of the products we use. Jared, there's external finishing and there's also internal finishing. Do you cover both? We are, we are. We find that the, the internal finishes are now going back in time to the Europeans bringing out Venetian plastering which is to create marble panelling or imitate concrete finishes, which is becoming really popular for feature walls and splashbacks. So we do cover that here at TAFE as well. TAFE SA trains around 2,500 building and construction apprentices in various trades each year. Zach Baird is a first year plastering apprentice. So Zach, plastering, why has it, uh, why has it got your interest? Um, I've grown up watching my family do it. Um, and I enjoy working outdoors and working with my hands. So. What sort of stuff do you learn here at TAFE? We learn the skills of our specific job, but we also get to learn lots of things like measurement and just how to work on a job and what skills you need for that. So, I would imagine that the TAFE course teaches you some of the details that maybe you wouldn't otherwise learn if you're out on site all the time. Yeah, it does, the nitty gritty stuff. Yeah, we can get hands on with Jared and get some real attention rather than just actually have to work. Well, if Zach's modelling career doesn't work out, it sounds like he's well and truly on the way to a successful career in the building and construction industry. Now, regardless of the trade that you're interested in, a great place to start is right here at TAFE. If you want to find out any more information, you know what to do. Visit tafesa.edu.au. Building ideas, we got some building ideas. You want some building ideas, we got some building ideas. We love to keep you abreast with the latest looks, styles and trends and something else we like to keep you up to date with is safety around your home. Now, some things are very obvious, but other things may not be front of mind. For example, if you have lovely gas appliances like this one, you need to be conscious about carbon monoxide poisoning. But if your appliance is well maintained, you don't need to worry. There's no doubt we're big fans of gas appliance heaters here at Building Ideas and to ensure they work to their best efficiencies, it's important to keep them well maintained. Yannick von Rollen is from the Department of Energy and Yannick, why is carbon monoxide poisoning something to be so concerned about? So carbon monoxide is a highly toxic gas that can actually cause death to our humans when exposed to high concentrations and it's called the, the silent killer. Um, but simply because it's odorless, it's colourless, it's um, tasteless. So basically you can't really detect it with any normal ways. And carbon monoxide is uh, of concerns because some gas heaters actually produce a low level of carbon monoxide. How frightening, how can you prevent carbon monoxide poisoning? It's always a good idea to uh, read the instruction manual and get familiar with your appliances. But something important to bear in mind is that gas appliances need a ventilation to function correctly. So when you've got a gas heater in your place, it's always a good idea to make sure there's natural ventilation occurring, make sure there's a bit of fresh air coming in the room. It's always good as well to know what carbon monoxide poisoning symptoms are like. So it's for example, headache, dizziness or vomiting. Some of the symptoms are occur very suddenly. So if you experience those symptoms, you should really Think about turning off your, your heater, go out, get some fresh air. How can homeowners make sure they're heating their home safely? The safest way really for homeowners to, to have a, a safe heating is to make sure they're servicing their gas appliances on a regular basis. So you want to make sure you get licensed gas feeder to do the work, so someone that has been properly trained to service appliances. 
Also, it's, uh, it's a good idea to ask for a um, carbon monoxide spillage test. So that's a, a test that checks if the appliances produces any um, carbon monoxide and also check if the levels producing are within a safe range. They will usually do this test with any exhaust fans running because one of the issues we've seen is that when you've got exhaust fans, it's actually drawing some of the fresh air out of the room and that's when it's throwing in the carbon monoxide. And once they've completed the work, they can provide you with a certificate of compliance that's confirming that the appliance is all good and safe to use. And we really recommend to get it test just before winter, because obviously that's when it will be used more intensively. So every two winters, just yeah, call the guys feeder to get it checked. Some great advice there from Yannick. And if you've got any further questions, you can just give your licensed gas fitter a call or you can look up sa.gov.au forward slash energy save. Right, now for something completely different, an initiative that's been established by the Master Builders Association called High Viz. High Viz is all about promoting industry change when it comes to equality in the building and construction industry. Traditionally, the building and construction industry has been male dominated. Times have certainly changed though, and in 2017, the Master Builders Association recognised the importance of women in the building and construction industry, and the significant contributions they make to the success of the industry, both on the residential scale and on commercial building sites. High Viz was developed and established to support and empower people working within the construction community. So regardless if you're an on-site worker, engineer, builder, subcontractor, architect, developer, surveyor, project manager, interior designer, educator or associated industry professional, High Viz offers a network of like-minded people and fantastic industry and career opportunities. Mark Rosenboom is the State Manager for Hanson Youngkin, one of Australia's most respected and successful commercial building contractors. Mark, Hanson Youngkin is a major supporter of High Viz. Why? Well, Hanson Youngkin prides itself in providing equal opportunity in the workplace. We strongly believe in providing the right opportunity for the right person. High Viz is a terrific positive initiative for the industry. How will High Viz continue to have an impact? Well, Hivis provides a platform of support for people in the construction industry and the building industry. It allows people to network, meet regularly, share ideas and swap notes. Most importantly, it allows the industry to develop ideas to increase diversity in the workplace. It's an exciting time in the building and construction industry and by improving the conditions of everybody working in it is definitely going to have a positive outcome on what's achieved. If you'd like to know more, you can contact the Master Builders Association or look up the website mbasa.com.au. Building ideas, we got some building ideas. You want some building ideas, we got some building ideas. It's quite amazing the impact that advancements in technology have had on our lives. Now, I love technology, I'm a big fan. Not only socially or professionally, but also on the home front. Who would have thought years ago you'd be able to see your home built, every nuance of it, or your landscaped garden done before anyone set foot on site? Well, thanks to augmented reality and 3D modelling and Borrell's new app, you can now check this out lay pavers virtually or put in a retaining wall without lifting a finger. Maybe a finger. It's basically a digital catalogue that's accessible anywhere, anytime. To get started, you'll need to download the app from the App Store or Google Play Store onto a compatible smartphone or tablet. From there, you'll be able to open the app and aim the camera at your printed A4 target. Once the target is detected, you can select a product. The target then transforms into a paver and or a retaining wall display on the screen. This is great. The app lets you run through a range of pavers, retaining walls and different colours to make sure you get the combination that's right for you. Great thing about this is that you can go through a whole range of combinations to get the right look without it costing you a cent. That way, you have a really clear idea of how the project will actually look. You can even take a screenshot of your landscaping masterpiece and share it with friends and family for their feedback. 
We all need that second opinion sometimes. The fun doesn't end there. All too often with websites and apps, you can play around with selections, but then have to go to a selection center to make, order, and pay for your goods. Not with the Borrow app though. You can click the cart icon and go through to the online store to purchase your selected products. It's as easy as that. Once you've paid for your order online, all of your pavers and your retaining wall components will appear at your nominated address as if by magic. Now, if you want to know more about this genius technology, visit borrow.com.au forward slash landscape dash app forward slash landscape dash app. Now, I just got to get the colors exactly right. Don't you just love new technology? It's great because it potentially enables you to see what your new home and garden is going to look like. And it's great, as you can imagine, Alan Shepherd Constructions, they have all the latest new technology. So clients will really understand what their new home will be. It's all part of the service, which is great. And service is very high on the agenda of the entire Alan Shepherd team. Regardless of the style of home you're wanting to build, Alan Shepherd Constructions can design and build it for you. And when you undertake your building journey with them, you'll be guaranteed several things. The highest quality of workmanship, attention to detail, and pride in each and every home built. A carpenter by trade, Alan understands all aspects of the building process, and his team will virtually guide you through that process every step of the way. The end result will be one of luxury, grandeur, elegance, and style. I've chatted with many of Alan's happy customers over the years, and one thing they all have in common is praise for Alan and his talented team. Unsurpassed quality and service is synonymous with Alan Shepherd Constructions. Now it's time for a quick break, but come back and join us because Terry's going to look at the benefits of natural gas clothes dryers, and I'm going to look at more beautiful homes built by Alan Shepherd. Building ideas, we got some building ideas. Building ideas, you want some building ideas, we got some building ideas. As Nicole mentioned earlier in the show, we are great fans of natural gas and gas appliances, especially when they're well maintained and looked after. A few weeks ago, we explored heating options using natural gas. This week, we're going to have a little look at, would you believe it, natural gas clothes dryers. Now, I must admit, it's something that I've never considered before, but that's all about to change. Aside from being incredibly cost effective to run, a clothes dryer powered by natural gas is also extremely environmentally friendly. There's nothing worse than a laundry full of condensation in winter. Everything gets wet, but with a gas clothes dryer, you don't have to worry about that anymore because the hot air is fluid outside. Add to this, your clothes will be dried quicker and with less wear and tear as well as the dryer being easy on your pocket, what's not to like? Natural gas clothes dryers produce immediate gentle heat, which is why they're so efficient. And because the heat dissipates almost immediately once the gas is turned off, it means your clothes will be less wrinkled on the other side, which means you're gonna save on ironing time. Bonus. Now, as far as bonuses are concerned, when it comes to natural gas appliances, there are plenty. How about this one, ducted? gas heating, underrated. It's reliable, fast, and offers controllable heat, which is effective even in the coldest climates. And given you can combine ducted gas heating with reverse cycle cooling, you'll be able to enjoy the best of both worlds. You can heat your home quickly and cost effectively in winter and cool your home in summer. Plus, you only need one set of ducts in your ceiling. How good is that? It's pretty obvious that natural gas is the natural choice. Now, if you want any more information on either of these great natural gas appliances, or if you want to organise to have natural gas connected to your home, visit australiangasnetworks.com.au. I'll fold them later. 
Well, hopefully that's going to help you with buying future appliances. They've all got to be powered by natural gas. Now, I'm back in Alan Shepherd Construction's main office, and this is where you come when you decide to build with a multi-award winning master builder. We've had a look right through the program today at some of his beautiful homes, and it's easy to see why they are leaders in the industry. They'll take care of the entire building process for you, right from the design stage through to obtaining all the relevant council and building approvals. And finally, handing over the keys to your new home. We've said it many times before, it's one thing to dream of a new home, but quite another to actually have one built. Regardless if you have many ideas or none at all, the experts here will be able to help. Alan has handpicked his exceptionally talented team of employees and they're all well versed in their particular areas of expertise. Be it architectural design, technical takeoffs, project management, the actual building or interior selections and fit outs. So you can rest assured they have your bases well and truly covered. One of the things I've heard many of Alan's clients say is they feel in very safe hands with Alan. He's got their interests covered and nothing's going to go wrong. And it makes sense really because that's the best advertisement, word of mouth, and that's how they get a lot of their work. People feel secure. Now I could rave about Alan and his talented team all day long, but we'd better get on with it and show you what's on next week. We'll be hosting the program from the brand new Adelaide Press Metal Showroom at Brompton. I'm going to check out an impressive renovation project that's in the process of being completed by Creative Home Renovations. We'll check out the latest looks in bricks from PGH. And we'll learn more about how the professional team at CBUS can help you. I swear the program seems to be getting busier and busier all the time and wait until you see our press metal story, you're going to love that, it's very inspiring. And speaking of inspiring, I'm sure you're going to want to look up Alan's website which is alanshepherd.com.au. Enjoy the rest of your weekend and we look forward to seeing you next week. It's time for change. Building Building Ideas is proudly brought to you by the Master Builders Association.